the first ever offering of Telfest was held on the 5th of November 2018 in the Headley Bowl Center. Uh, my name is Katie Freund and I was the convener of this event and I just wanted to share with you a few reflections on how Telfest went. Just before I get started, I wanted to say that this was, of course, a team effort, and I've included a photo of our fabulous ANU Online team there, uh, and every one of them was integral in making Telfest such a great success, so thank you, everyone. Just to give you a bit of background information about Telfest, uh, this was a first ever event that was a showcase of teaching and learning with technology for the whole university here at ANU. Um, it was designed particularly to give academics a chance to share and discuss their teaching practice and their innovative ideas. Um, we had a lot of interest in the event from the very beginning. We received a lot more presentation proposals than we inspected, expected, and registration had to be closed early because we reached capacity for the venue. So we had 97 attendees and a range of panels, workshops, presentations, and demonstrations over the course of the day. Some of the highlights of the event were the fantastic collaboration that we were able to achieve thanks uh, with students thanks to the great efforts of our student representatives in Anusa and Parsa, so special thanks to them. I also want to highlight the contributions from the ANU Medical School who submitted around eight presentations uh, just about the great work being done in that school. And there's a photo there of um, Dr. Alex Webb from the Medical School who was integral to making Telfest such a success with her enthusiasm. The key highlight of the event for all of us, I think, was the opportunities for sharing and networking across colleges, giving academics a chance to interact with people they might never otherwise meet, um, and the sharing of a combination of the kind of big picture issues and also practical in-class experiences that academics have using technology. Uh, the feedback that we received was overwhelmingly positive, which was absolutely fantastic. We had 100% of the 50 respondents say that they would attend a future Telfest, and a lot of them expressed interest in related events like master classes, communities of practice, and so on. So we're looking forward to offering more events like that uh, in 2019. Uh, here's just a few kind of uh, samples from the feedback that we received, um, in particular highlighting the, uh, the in, uh, inclusion of different voices and experiences, and also um, getting an opportunity to see what's happening at, around the ANU and not just being isolated in kind of college or school areas. Um, one participant noted that uh, that they hope that we in keep going with this kind of initiative to attract people who would not normally go to these sorts of events. Some of the things that we'd like to work on improving for a future offering of Telfest would primarily be around uh, having more equal participation from across all the colleges. Um, we worked really hard to ensure that Telfest is advertised and um, perceived as complementary to and not in competition to college-based teaching and learning days, um, as some colleges have days like that and some do not. As a central team, ANU Online is kind of uh, as a central team, ANU Online can encourage breaking down these barriers and silos in a way that college-based ones can't. Um, one of the other things that we'd like to do a bit more of is to have more radical or provocative sessions designed to address um, the elephant in the room, so to speak, the kind of issues around workload and um, the, the effort and cost that it can often take to design innovative uh, practices with TEL. Another area that we'd really like to capitalize on is to offer a few more hands-on workshops and more practical sessions so that people can come away with some new skills and ideas. And finally, I think we needed to provide a bit more information about what ANU Online can do in terms of supporting TEL and giving uh, academics the support that they need to uh, integrate TEL into their teaching. One of the other uh, things that I'd really like to share is the uh, post-it notes that were shared on our idea wall. So we put up some uh, big boards on the wall and invited participants at Telfest to share their ideas around what they would like ANU to do in the future. And here's a few of the uh, post-it notes that were shared there that I think are particularly relevant. So we had a lot of people call for uh, ANU to recognize um, the staff time, hours, and workload that's required to be innovative in your teaching, and to provide staff with the pay and the time to do that. 
Um, and another person commented that they'd like to see the university reward excellence in teaching as part of academic promotions processes and giving uh, people a chance to talk about this at their promotions interviews. Um, someone very uh, kindly suggested that we have Telfest each year, which we're definitely hoping to do for 2019. And also to amend the ANU vision to include professional staff as part of the four pillars, as well as academics and students. That's just a quick tour of some of the highlights of Telfest for 2018. Um, I want to thank everyone who participated, attended, supported, and contributed to making it such a fantastic event. We are currently preparing recordings and slide decks from all the presentations that were done that you'll be able to access. And to find more information and all these resources, please visit the website listed there on your screen at telfest.weblogs.anu.edu.au. Thank you, everyone, and we look forward to seeing you at Telfest 2019.